Here are some of the dumbest things people actually do to animals. Number nine, monkey business. There's a saying that goes something like, let a sleeping dog lie. That saying is mostly metaphorical, but it can also be literal. And it can also apply to sitting monkeys. Back in April of 2018, one man showed us why we shouldn't mess with monkeys. A macaque was sitting on a railing by a pond at the Zishan Temple in China. The monkey was just minding his own business when some dude just decided to push him into the water. And that's when the monkey said they were having none of it. With impressive speed, the monkey climbed back over the rail and gave chase to the man who immediately knew he had messed up. Another monkey joined the chase as they pursued the guy into a temple thinking he'd be safe inside. But these monkeys meant business and they chased the guy down and began scratching his face. Well, there's one lesson we can learn from this and that's monkeys aren't to be messed with because they don't forget faces. Ultimately, he and other visitors were able to fend them off before they did any more real damage. To be honest, we think the guy got what he deserved. What do you guys think? Number eight, black swan event. Swans are among some of the most celebrated animals on the planet. They're depicted often in Greek mythology, referenced in Latin America literature, and revered in Hinduism. Basically, they're generally considered to be very special animals. So when a video of a woman grabbing a swan by the neck went viral, people were pretty mad. The video showed a Chinese woman grabbing a swan by the neck in Switzerland's famous Swan Square. In the video, you can see a group of tourists communicating in Mandarin surround the swan and trying to get the swan to do something, probably pose for a photo or something lame. Finally, one woman grabs the poor swan by the neck. It's worth pointing out that some online viewers commented that the woman might have been trying to save the swan. In their attempt to get the swan's attention, the tourists held out a small piece of paper. The swan snatched it, and as some people suggested, the woman in question might have been trying to keep the swan from swallowing the paper. In any case, one thing that's for sure is we should not be dumb tourists and offer anything to wild animals. That includes food. Number seven, Chinese culture. Kangaroos are known for, among other things, hopping. It's kind of their thing. And if you really want to seep them hop, chances are you can just wait and watch for a bit and they'll start hopping. However, there once was a group of zoo visitors who wanted to see a kangaroo hop that they decided to hurl bricks at it. Yes, there are people dumb enough visiting a zoo to think that hurling bricks at a kangaroo was a good idea. Yeah, this didn't end well. This terrible event took place at the Funzhou Zoo in China back in February of 2018. A group of visitors were trying to get a reaction from two kangaroos at the zoo. For some reason, they resorted to tossing bricks at them. Their behavior resulted in one of the kangaroos badly injured and the other kangaroo unfortunately passing after spending a few days at the vet. Because of this incident, the zoo installed security cameras to try to stop the terrible behavior that tourists at Chinese zoos are widely known for. The notion of animal rights just isn't deeply ingrained in China, and that's why in many cases it seems like humans are more animalistic. Number six, release the python. As a general rule of thumb, no one should get a pet on a whim. And people definitely shouldn't get a pet python without knowing what they're getting themselves into. In the Florida Everglades, pythons are invasive species. So when careless pet owners decided to release their giant pet snakes back into the wild, it becomes a huge problem. For starters, Florida is pretty much the perfect climate for pythons. Secondly, they have no natural predator in Florida. So when two pythons mate and reproduce, the population grows without predators to keep pythons in check. This wreaks havoc on the local ecosystem. Rabbits, raccoons, small deer, rodents, and a number of other mammals have watched their populations decline as these pets turned fearless predator hunt without abandon. While it's very much against the law in Florida to own a python, people continue to get pythons as pets. And maybe because it's illegal, overwhelmed pet owners often release their pythons into the wild. There are an estimated 30,000 pythons living in the Everglades. Number five, making it rain, not appreciated. The good thing about animals being in the zoo is that they can get the care they need from trained experts dedicated to caring and preserving wild animals. The bad thing about animals living in the zoo is that sometimes there are visitors dumb enough to feed them garbage. Messing with animals seems to be a big problem in China. Visitors at the Shanghai Zoo had been feeding plastic trash to some of the animals. This extremely dumb behavior led to the passing of three deer. Shanghai Zoo's veteran Gui Jianfeng pointed out that herbivores can't differentiate between food and 
and plastic. This fact is complicated further by the bizarre behavior of visitors at this particular zoo. Among other extremely dumb actions, they're known for bringing containers of food from home to feed the animals, even though zookeepers have them on a very strict diet. Tourists have been known to toss plastic bottles at the animals to get them to move. The Shanghai Zoo has a terrible reputation for animals as visitors continue to mistreat the animals. Even now in 2019, the zoo is still urging tourists to stop feeding animals food and trash. One visitor was even so dumb, he threw wads of cash at a giraffe to get giraffes to try to eat money. Just why? Number four, Jaguar lives on. A woman in Arizona jeopardized her life and that of a Jaguars when she decided to get super close for a picture. Let that sink in for a minute. Why do people forget that animals in zoos are still wild animals? The woman was only identified as a 30-year-old woman named Leanne. Leanne thought that crossing a three-foot barricade separating park visitors from a group of jaguars in order to take a picture was a smart thing to do. Uh, spoiler alert, it totally wasn't. One understandably surprised and frightened jaguar took a swipe at Leanne, scratching her arm. A fellow zoo visitor was able to rescue Leanne by distracting the jaguar. Remember when we said that she had also endangered the jaguar? There was some concern that the jaguar would be euthanized because of its actions. However, the park decided that nothing would happen to the jaguar since she's a wild animal and it wasn't her fault when the barrier was crossed. In Leanne's defense, she actually did own up to her mistake and did not blame the zoo, but she did essentially say the zoo should protect people like her from her own stupidity by moving the barriers back. Seriously? Number three, saving bison? How many of you guys know that back in 2016, then President Barack Obama signed a law making the North American bison the first national mammal of the United States? While they don't come to mind quite yet like the bald eagle, the signing was still significant. And don't worry, the bald eagle is still the national bird of the US. The whole thing for Obama was a symbolic gesture to the importance of preservation. The bison was once a near extinct species, but because of federal protection, the bison has seen their population bounce back. The National Park Service even has specific guidelines guidelines on how to best help protect bison. We bring all this up because even if someone's heart is in the right place, their brain can still get them into dumb situations. Back in May of 2016, two visitors at Yellowstone National Park took it upon themselves to help out a little bison calf that had been separated from the herd. Figuring they could somehow help out, they put the calf in the back of their car and drove it to a ranger station. The young bison ended up being rejected from the herd and the rangers had to put the calf down. Understandably, many people don't think of situations like this. A spokesperson for NPS pointed out that while the rangers made a significant effort to reunite the calf with its herd, it was rejected because of its interaction with humans. Rangers feared that the bison calf would eventually cause an accident and harm itself or people because of its predicament. Again, we just need to leave wild animals alone. Number two, baby dolphin stress. Is it just us, or are people really getting out of control with their selfie habits? Yeah, we get it, it's something we all do, because we can all get a tad vain at times, but most of us have not tried to take a selfie with a baby dolphin. Most being the key word. Sadly, not everyone can make that claim. A group of tourists in southern Spain decided to take selfies with a baby dolphin and thought it was all fun and games. But it never is when it comes to wild animals. The tourists found the baby dolphin in shallow waters who was stranded after losing track of her mother. The the smart thing to do would have been to call animal rescue control and let them handle the matter. But these were not smart people we're dealing with here. These tourists passed the frightened dolphin around, taking turns posing for pictures with her. A group of more than 100 people gathered to pose or get a glimpse of the baby dolphin. At one point, kids were touching it and accidentally covering its blowhole. Before animal rescue and conservationists could arrive on the scene, the baby dolphin passed from the stress. Needless to say, animals should be left alone in the wild no matter how cute they may be. Number one, chasing selfies. Honestly, no one should need to be reminded that taking selfies with bears is a bad idea. But again, here we are. Exhibit A. Back in July of 2018, motorists on Highway 93 in Calgary stopped to get closer looks at a black bear. They even got out of their car because, well, why not, right? Everyone else is doing dumb things. At one point, one woman got so close to the bear that it charged at her. Luckily for the woman, black bears are not that aggressive and the bear backed down so the woman got away safely. Take Exhibit B as another example. Not to be outdone, tourists at Waterton Canyon Park in Colorado caused a park-wide problem by taking selfies with the park's black bears. Back in 2015, the park was having widespread issues with tourists getting within a few feet of black bears just to get a selfie. So for tourists' well-being, the park decided to shut off public access for a bit. It's always a few bad apples that ruin the bunch. People seem to love to throw away common sense when it comes to pictures with wildlife. Here's what's next. 